Welcome to The Robin Graham Show, the podcast for purpose-driven women who want to achieve sustainable success without having to be on social media. Hey, beautiful friends. Welcome back to another episode of The Robin Graham Show. I am so thrilled that you are here with me today. You know, we all go through different life journeys, and some are easier than others, and some are filled with really challenging, difficult, heartbreaking experiences. And my guest today is so very dear to my heart. Her name is Alberta Jordan. She happens to be a coaching client of mine, and I have had the incredible blessing to get to help her and walk alongside her on her journey to build her business and become seen as the expert that she truly is as a divorce recovery and trauma coach. She is doing incredible things to help other people who have gone through divorce, who are experiencing heartbreaking loss, and oftentimes that includes loss of self, and that is what she helps her clients navigate so that they can come out on the other side putting one foot in front of the other, but in an exhilarated way. And so we are going to talk a little bit about that and what she has coming up in her business, as well as what it's like inside working with me. So grab your cup of coffee and let's dive in. Alberta Jordan, welcome to The Robin Graham Show. Robin, thank you so much for having me on the show. Well, it is an honor, number one, just to spend extra time with you this week, but also to have the just opportunity to share you with all the listeners because the work you're doing is profound and you are such a radiant example of God's love and his bounty and his generosity. His healing in your life has been remarkable in more ways than one. And I just think you're such a light to the world. And so it's my honor to get to share you with the listeners today. Thank you, I'm humble. <laughs> I'm very, very passionate about what I do. I am very, very motivated to make a positive impact on the lives of others. And that's, you know, Jesus wants us to share the light and share the love. And that's exactly what I do through my services. So thank you. Yes, 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 yes. And okay, so let's talk before we dive into what you have coming up in your business, which is so going to be so incredible and and help people really experience transformation. Um, let's talk about what it's been like to work with me. So let's start with when you first found me, I believe mm-hmm. I want to say you heard me on a podcast interview, but I'm yes, not for sure. <laughs> um, when you first found me and and we had a, a call together. What were you feeling? So I have a beautiful, vivid memory of how comforted I felt, of how um, relieved I was to find you. I had paid two other people to help me run my business before meeting you. And you listened. You addressed concerns that I didn't even know that I should have had. Um, And then you... You hold my hand through the process. You make it possible. There's, it's one thing to get a list of strategies from someone, but it's another thing to have someone hold your hand and walk you through the steps to get stuff done because it can be overwhelming. And you have been such a comfort to my heart. My blood pressure has gone down since we have connected. And my business is getting better. And I'm so excited because you are making a difference in my business. My business wasn't getting found before, but thanks to you, now it is. Oh, that is so so good. So So good. So good. So tell the listeners a couple of the things that we've worked on behind the scenes. And everybody knows that my emphasis is not social media, but that we can use social media to drive traffic to our website and we can do that in a subtle way. But we haven't even worked on social media. We haven't even really talked about social media strategy yet. So what are some of the things that we've been working on that have really helped you understand what it's like to create that online visibility? So 
something simple that you started with, but it seems small, but it's actually huge. You took the time to look at my um, um, my invoices, my um, my bills that I had connected to the business, and you were able to help me nix um, the things that I was paying for that was not benefiting the business. So you reduced my budget. Thank you. Um, and and that was huge. And then you also helped me um, audit a client. I had a client that um, fell through the cracks. They had stopped paying, and I didn't realize that I was over delivering to the client. You helped me get that situation fixed and face the client to to try to get them on a better path um, for paying. And then also. All this was huge. You taught me about SEO. I didn't know what that was, how important that that was to the business. Um, looking at my website, oh my gosh, helping me with my website was huge. You've done so much, Robin. You've done so much. And I'm telling you, I'm so much better for it. I'm just so thankful to God for your service because there are people out here offering me but it doesn't fit the need. You fit my need. You understand my needs and you address them. And that's powerful. Oh my gosh. Like I'm getting teary eyed just listening to you because, <laughs> you know, when we're working day to day or, you know, week to week and we're in the trenches doing things. Sometimes it feels overwhelming and intimidating. And sometimes I'm like, oh gosh, did I overwhelm them? Oh gosh. And whenever I get to hear how this has helped you become more confident and to be able to work in your business and on your business with that confidence. To me, that is one of the most empowering gifts that I can give anyone so that you can move forward because the more confident you are, the more people are going to see that and trust you and then hire you because we know that confusion creates chaos and mm -hmm. When there's confusion, people don't buy. Confused people simply turn away. They don't stay. And so now you have that opportunity to stand firm in your gifts and the light that God's calling you to share and share it and be present. And they're going to see that and trust you so readily because they can see how confident you are in every aspect of your business and how you present yourself to them. So Indeed. great. So, Indeed. so great. I, Indeed. Okay. So I don't want to seem selfish and have this whole conversation to be about me. So let's turn it over to you. Tell the listeners about your business and what you're doing for your clients. Sure. So at Exhilarated Life, we specialize in helping men and women who have suffered a bad divorce. Our customized programs help people bounce back powerfully, confidently, more whole, more purposefully, and more attractive in three months or less. Now, I know the traumatizing pain of divorce and the overwhelming feeling of having to start over. I have survived sexual abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse, verbal abuse, financial abuse. And I suffered a brain hemorrhage as well because I was in a toxic relationship. Well, seven months after the brain hemorrhage and after I got divorced, determined to change my life, I created and create a better life for my son. I pursued a master's degree in healthcare. And it was actually going into the healthcare setting where I found myself using my natural coaching abilities. I was coaching trauma survivors. These are people who suffered tragic accidents, whose limbs were cut off, who fell in acid, and whose life was turned upside down to see that their life was not over. And in retrospect, when I think about it, I've been coaching people all my life, but never considered doing it as a profession. Once I started to get the overwhelming feedback from people, I began to realize more and more that coaching was the positive impact that I'm seeking to make in this world. And so after that aha moment, I got certified. And since then, I have been focusing 
on uh, serving men and women who have suffered a bit a bad divorce, which is divorce trauma. So I, I'm 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 just so tickled. It's funny how your trauma can actually lead you to use it and to make a positive impact on other people. And that's what I stand for. I am very passionate about making a positive impact in your life, giving you this critical skills that you need to stop your self-sabotage, recreate the, the feeling of, to overcome the feeling of helplessness and hopelessness, and to to um, solidify your boundaries and to live a better, more empowered life. I am so excited to be doing this work. Oh, I love it. And your passion just shines oh. through. Sure. So Alberta, one thing that I've heard you say is that quite often when people experience divorce, they've actually had trauma in their past. And that mm -hmm. is the root cause of the divorce because there has been trauma that has not been shared or not shared, but dealt with or shared with the partner. So, so to speak, I guess. But can you just tell us a little bit about that? So the trauma that we suffer at, at whatever point in our life that we suffer, it absolutely affects us. It affects how we deal with ourselves and, and it affects the relationships. It affects the people that we choose. People who have been traumatized, the prefrontal cortex, the front part of your brain has been shut down because of the trauma. And your ability to rationalize, to make good decisions, all that has been compromised. And so people who have been traumatized tend to make the same mistakes over and over and over. They tend to go from one toxic relationship to another. That drastically affects your quality of life. It affects your sense of, of power. You feel helpless. You People tend to live their life like a victim. Everything is happening to them. My program directly addresses that. It gets to the heart and the core of that to have people heal that and to, um, live a more empowered life and to make better decisions. I love that. And it's so well needed. I, I've seen this happen so many times. And people, I think, are often lost, but they're lost in their heart and they're lost in their mind in addition to being lost in a circumstance. So mm -hmm. I think the work you're doing to get to that root cause is so incredibly crucial, but powerful. Indeed. So I love the use that you have oh. in, in one of your modules. It's attractiveness. Tell us about yes. that. And, yes. and how, how is that such an important part? Why is that such an important part of your program? Well, I wanted to offer more than what's out there to um, attract people. And I really, when I give, I try to give completely. And so I thought, you know, what is the one thing once someone feels more powerful and more confident and more whole and more purposeful, what else do they need? And that's how I came up with, well, they're, they're going to want to want to be more attractive. And so I actually spend two modules addressing um, how to be attractive. There's two parts to it. There's an internal approach and an external approach. And they get that when they purchase my program, the Release, Resolve, and Rejuvenate program. That's awesome. And your program is so in-depth. But what I think is so amazing is that when you have your soulmate client, which is very well-defined, and you're able to work with them and guide them, you get the results that they've been craving, that they're so in need of in three months or less which is incredible. You can turn your life around in that short of a period of time. Exactly. It took me years to overcome divorce. And I, I want better for other people. And that, I think you said something before that, you know, we go through trauma or experiences. And I fully believe that when we go through a situation, a challenge, 
trauma, whatever that is, whatever that experience is that was negative in our life, God uses that for good. I've seen it happen mm-hmm. so many times. Just, you know, one of the most, um, I guess, dramatic things that happened to me was when my father passed away. And after that, I was able to support several friends whose father had cancer and was able to walk them through that journey or walk with them along that journey because of my own experience. And I think that, you know, your experience through divorce was traumatic and and terrible, but look at all the good that has come from it. It's, you know, I have a best-selling book that I wrote. Yeah, it's amazing. So, okay, I want to make sure that we share your upcoming workshop because We've all experienced heartbreak in one way, shape, or another. So tell us about this workshop and what can people expect when they register? Sure. So October the 10th, I am doing a workshop on heartbreak uh, after divorce. And what we're going to be diving into is how heartbreak affects not just your emotions, but also your your how it affects you psychologically, and how it affects your whole body. We're going to look at why it's so hard to let go after divorce. And we're going to dig into the heart sores, the rooted pains of the past that can make current heartbreak feel even more intensified. But I won't stop there. I'm also going to provide some strategies, some on-the-spot strategies that people can practice right away to reduce the heartbreak of divorce. So I am very excited and I, I want anyone who needs this uh, service to, to see me on October the 10th. And we're going to put the link. I'm going to share the link with Robin. But uh, this is going to be a very powerful workshop. And you guys, when she says it's going to be powerful, I've seen what she's put together and it is going to be powerful. You're going to walk away. And I know so oftentimes we see online you know, master classes or workshops or whatever, and you attend them and you're just sold to. And you walk away being like, shucks, I wanted to get something that I could actually employ or use or implement within my business or my life. And it's disheartening. You, you attend this workshop and you are going to walk away with true strategies for transformation. And, I, you know, I don't know. If you have been through divorce, especially recently, I encourage you to connect with Alberta because she is just incredible, truly incredible. And I sound like a commercial for you. (laughs) Thank you. I appreciate her very much. (laughs) Yes. Whether you're newly divorced or been divorced 40 years, we can help. Yeah, I love that. And that's funny that you say that too, because sometimes, Um, time goes by so incredibly fast and sometimes it drags on. And I think when we're in a, a space of heaviness, a space of heartbreak, that's when it tends to drag on. So yeah, that, that vast amount of time that we hold on to, oh, the trauma, the heartbreak, the negative emotions or feelings, all of that weighs so heavily. And I will link in the show notes some other episodes we've had recently that demonstrate how, you know, when our brain is not, our mind is not healthy, our body's not healthy. And that the mind-body-soul connection is so incredibly powerful. So it really is important to address these things and address them in a way that is supportive, but also effective, proven, and shared and taught by someone who's been through it themselves and truly understands the emotions we're going through. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Alberta, it has been so fun to share you today. Thank you for being here with me. And thank you for choosing me. I mean, what an honor it has been. Indeed. Indeed. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Will you share your website with everyone so that they can find you and connect with you and learn more from you? Sure. Um, my website is www.exhaled, E-X-H-A-L-E-D, dash life, 
coach. Awesome. We will put that in the show notes too, listeners. And friends out there listening, I ask you that if you know someone that has experienced divorce, you please share this episode with them. Because let's face it, life is hard. So together we can create that ripple effect of good in the world and help other people. So if you found this helpful or if you know someone who will find this helpful, please share it. And please drop a rating and review for us because that is how we can continue to grow and more people find the show and we can help more people create that impact that God has put the desire for in our hearts. All right, thanks so much for being here, everyone. And I will see you next time.